Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the FBI warning of election system hacks. The big story today is the leak of an FBI flash alert that warns various U.S. state government systems that remote attackers might be targeting their election systems. This is due to the FBI and authorities finding at least two Board of Election websites that were hijacked by attackers. Now, the document doesn't really share what states were affected by these two hacks, but they say that certain remote attackers were able to compromise the websites of two election systems. They say that these threat actors use tools like SQL Map, DIR Buster, and Acunetics' web scanner to find SQL injection vulnerabilities in these websites and to steal information. Now, according to an article by Yahoo, they suspect these have to do with hacks against the Arizona and the Illinois Board of Election websites. And at least in one of those cases, is attackers were able to steal 200,000 user accounts for registered voters. Now, security pundits are already starting to blame nation states for this attack. Some even claim that it seems to be from an alleged Russian source. However, do know that this particular FBI flash doesn't attribute the attack at all. On top of that, I kind of think it's a little suspicious that nation states would use these open source tools like SQL Map or DIR Buster or even Acunetics' off-the-shelf web scanner. These are all powerful tools and they really can find SQL injection vulnerabilities in websites. However, they're also very noisy tools. Sophisticated threat actors wouldn't use these type of automated tools. In my opinion, sophisticated actors would more manually enumerate sites for web application vulnerabilities to attempt to stay under the radar. So personally, I think it's kind of unusual if these state actors really are using these very noisy script kitty like tools that are available to anyone. In any case, it's an interesting story story and the FBI is warning that all state governments should kind of monitor their election systems and, and protect them from these sorts of hacks. Now even though this particular alert is kind of for internal state governments, the truth is we all can learn from it. Web application flaws like SQL injection flaws are one of the most common types of flaws that bad guys take advantage of to steal our information. If you run any sort of website attached to a database that has any sort of sensitive information in it, this is a flaw you want to worry about. So what's the practical advice for SQL injection? Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. It really all hinges around secure coding, making sure your website is created in a way that bad guys can't take advantage of these flaws. And that has everything to do with sanitizing user inputs for any web applications you have, making sure to escape certain characters, only allowing your web application to call stored procedures in SQL rather than any sort of custom querying capability, and all kinds of things like this. Long story short, if you run a website that has a critical database behind it, I highly recommend you get your web developers to go to the OWASP or Open Web Application Security Project website. And they actually have a SQL injection cheat sheet there where they have all kinds of different ways you can have your developers protect your site from SQL injection. Anyways, just an interesting story from today. It'd be interesting to see if they ever attribute these attackers. And again, I think it's kind of suspicious if nation states really are using tools like SQL Map or DIR Buster. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.